Alrighty, so today what we're we are gonna do is we are gonna do a little versus video between two brands of a hundred dollar kit. And so the the Ryobi is a hundred dollar kit, comes with two 1.5 amp hour batteries, a charger, and a bag. And this their quarter inch hex impact is brushed. So the model number for this is P235A. So the DeWalt is a brushless atomic quarter inch hex impact. And this comes with two 1.5 amp hour batteries and bag and a charger. Now, the 1.5 amp hour batteries that come with the Ryobi don't have a fuel gauge on them and neither does the DeWalt. I do not have the 1.5 amp hour batteries for the, for the uh, Ryobi kit because the only ones I have are the ones with the fuel gauge, but the ones that come with the kit do not have a fuel gauge on them. So both of them are equal in that part. And so these two kits are a big difference when it comes to the brand of the tool because everyone knows that DeWalt, Milwaukee, and Makita are built a little bit better than Ryobi. But these kits cost the same. So we're going to do a versus video between these two kits. And so the, the Ryobi is model number P235A. There is no speed, uh, speed setting. There is only a variable trigger. So this goes to 0 to 2800 RPMs and 0 to 3200 impacts per minute. And so the DeWalt, this is model number DCF809, it goes to 0 to 3200 impacts per minute and it is 0 to 2800 RPM. So the DeWalt is 1700 inch pounds of torque and the Ryobi is 1800 inch pounds of torque. So the only difference is this one has uh, 100 more inch pounds of torque than this one. But this is a brush motor and this is a brushless motor. And so we are gonna see what the difference is when it comes to power with doing some tasks. And what we're gonna do is we're pretty much just gonna drive in some 10 inch timber lock screws and do some, uh, do some lag, lag screws. So let's just get to the log and see what happens. All right, so as you can see, just in case if there was any little uh, bit that's not charged, both of these batteries are completely charged. All right, I got my backup batteries. I put this one on charge too, that's fully charged. There we go. All right, so what we are gonna do first is we are gonna do the Ryobi first. Is that one push in? Nope, you actually need to pull that. All right, so 10 inch timber lock screw. All right, so ready, go. Time. Okay, we are gonna do one more. All right, so ready, go. DeWalt's did just push in. Yep, DeWalt's, you just push it in. You do not need to mess with the colic at all. All right, so we are ready to go. Battery is full. All right, so ready, go. I do not know what the results are. I find out the results while I edit the video. All right, do one more. All right, so ready. Go. Time. With both the DeWalt and Ryobi, we are going to do one timber lock screw with a 2 amp hour battery. Alright, so ready, go. Time. Let's go get a 2 amp hour. 
All right, we got a two amp hour battery for the Ryobi. We're gonna do one more. Do it right here. All right, so ready? Time. Not too shabby. All right, let's put the 1.5s back in. Alrighty, so we have six. Uh, we're gonna have each one take them out all at once. We're gonna time that. All right, so I'm gonna take out as soon as I one's out. I'm gonna try to go back to the next one as fast as I can without losing time. All right, so ready, go. All right, next is the DeWalt. All right, so ready, go. Huh. Looks like we got a, we got one right there that doesn't want to come out. Go. Nope, you're too weak too. Holy cow. Go. Nope. Wow. Go. No problem. Instantly took it out. Alright, so we'll just finish it with this one. And the battery wasn't even in all the way. Alrighty, so. All right, so let's. Uh, so what we're, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take what uh, the time for two of them, and then just compare it to what this one, since both of these failed to take that one out. All right, so ready, go. Very good. Two four and a half inch lags. And if these two are able to do it with ease, we'll go up and go to six inch. We are gonna use uh, Tac Life impact rated sockets for this test with a Milwaukee half inch to a quarter inch hex uh, socket adapter. All right, so first we're gonna do Ryobi. Do it right here. All right, so ready, go. In. All right, it is DeWalt's time. Got a four and a half inch right here. All right, so ready, go. There we go, time. Uh, but we are going to time taking them out. Uh, we're actually gonna have DeWalt, DeWalt take Ryobi's out and Ryobi take DeWalt's out and let's see who's the winner. All right, so ready, go. All right, Ryobi cannot take DeWalt's out. Let's see if DeWalt can take DeWalt's out. Which that, well, the reason why I do this is because that means that this is more dense of an area than where Ryobi went. So since that's more dense, let's see if this could take itself out. 
All right, so ready? Go. No, we cannot. Can I take this one out? Ready? Go. All right, so this time, let's see how well the X, the DeWalt XR takes out the, this out. A 1.5. We're gonna try a 1.5. All right, so ready, go. Oh, that's speed one. All right, let's try speed two. Nope. Try speed three. Yes, it can. Oh, that is that is fast. Alrighty, so we're gonna try that again. Let's put this back up on the rack. We're gonna try a different spot. Alright, so we're gonna try here with the Ryobi. All right, so ready, go. Oh, oh, I might have messed up. I gotta take that out a little bit. Hopefully I can. All right, good. All right, so we're gonna try around the same area for DeWalt. Yeah, because that doesn't count for DeWalt because that was extra, extra dense, so we'll redo it. All right, so ready, go. That is in time. All right, now we are gonna take, they are gonna take each other's out again. And this time it should be okay. All right, so ready, go. All right, for, for, for uh, the Ryobi, I feel I feel the clamshell separating a little bit. I feel the clamshell separating a little bit as as it as it as, as it works. All right, so we're gonna do the Ryobi with the Dewalt. All right, so ready, go. Very good. Very good. Successful test at last. All right, so the LED for the Ryobi is on the bottom of the base. On the Dewalt, you get a tri-beam in the front. And so, yes, you know, like, but as you can see, like, they're, uh, when it comes to $100 and, uh, new, for a new buyer, uh, for, uh, for tools, I could see, just because of the name brand, people going for the Dewalt because of the name and the the quality of of the tool you know of the components inside you know like a and it's brushless you know so this one is brushed it's powerful but still it's brushed just that fact alone will drive people away from from getting this and they would get this because they sh this should be brushless if this was brushless and it worked with the hp system this would be extremely powerful Let's do a quick temperature reading. All right, so the Ryobi is at 74 degrees and the Dewalt is at 75. So they ran, they ran pretty much like almost the same temperature for the tasks that they just did. You know, I love Ryobi because of the variety of tools, but when it comes to someone new getting into tools, with this Black Friday sale, I could see them going for Dewalt because of a uh, hundred bucks, to 100 bucks with a 1.5 amp, two 1.5 amp hour batteries, 
two 1.5 amp hour batteries charger charger bag bag so like you get the same tool but it's ryobi versus dewalt and it's uh, they're both a hundred bucks and like i said before for 150 you can get the atomic brushless uh drill driver uh with a half inch chuck i just looked on the home depot website you could get these two four hundred fifty dollars they're both brushless they're both uh this is a drill driver impact you know, like you can get this set online only for $150. This kit should have been at the store. This kit right here. But for some reason, they gave us that kit. Like I said, I do not know the results. Uh, the results are uh, there. I do not know until I edit the video, but this one would last you longer than the brush motor will. And uh, that also depends on how often you, you, you use it. All right, so everyone knows that the uh, Ryobi batteries are huge compared to the others, but if you take that stem away, it's almost the same size. You know, like Ryobi vow uh, vows to never change their battery, which I think they should. Uh, there's something I wanted to uh, I want to talk in a future video about Ryobi. It's uh, I, I think Ryobi should make a line called Ryobi Elite, and it would the they should have uh, six tools. Or less that are made out of the best materials and are extremely powerful. You know, price them out like a normal tool for like a DeWalt, Milwaukee, or Hilti. Have them expensive, but make an elite line for Ryobi. You know, so so like because people will buy it. People will buy an expensive Ryobi if it's uh, more powerful than the other brands. So. So that's it. That's pretty much it. We're going to talk about that in a future video. Uh, so this has been the uh, comparison and demonstration of the two Black Friday kits that are on sale right now. And so this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.